Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is September 17th of 2019, and it's uh, 149 p.m. in Fort Worth, Texas. This uh, video, uh, I'm using the Windows, or I guess I'm using the Logitech app. Or is it the Windows app? I don't know. I think the Logitech. Uh, I just a few minutes ago received this uh, cable. Uh, the Logitech Brio camera does 4K video and 4K pictures. Now, I believe the 4K is I think it's 30 frames a second I forget now uh, I've had this Brio for quite a while and when I first got it of course it came with a uh, USB cable a C connector for the back of you know how most of these Logitech cameras are these USB webcams how they have a cable that is uh, permanently attached and then runs into you. Well, this one came with a C connector on the back and a C connector, you know, cable that was 3.0. It was kind of short. So I I went to a 2. Point, USB 2.0. And so I never actually tested this at 4K. But anyway, just a short time ago, I ordered in a 10-foot... 3.0 USB cable uh, with a your standard USB on one end. I forget what they call that one, but so I plugged it into my computer's USB port, and then I ran it, and it has a Type C on the end of it. Went into the Brio, so now I can do 4K video using the Brio um, and I can take 4k pictures I really don't see much point in but I want to test so this is a test wanted to uh, test the 4k and uh, so now I'm thinking let's see if if I decide to do a save of my desktop that would not use the Brio camera. I mean, I could use it, but it'd be an, it would be an inset. Inset? That sounds like incest or something. Uh, so when the video was processed, is it going to, if I have this 4K video, and then I have something that is not 4K, edit it in, what are we going to come out with when we process that? So I think what I'm, just, what I'm going to do is just uh, submit this, upload this video. So this video should be a 4K video using the Logitech Brio camera, which runs about $200. If you're not really interested in 4K, and I don't really see a point in 4K, I have a 4K monitor, uh, my computer has quite a bit of memory in it, uh, I'm just not, I just don't see the point in, you know, the 4K files are, they're bigger to upload, and a lot of people can't do 4K, of course, when you upload a video, when you make YouTube videos, when you upload it, uh, YouTube, their equipment goes through and creates, you know, like a uh, 360K, a 720K, whatever, up to. That's why if you, like when I make a video and upload it, 
if right away I press, you know, after it's uploaded and after it's processed, if I click, you know, publish, and then it goes online. Now, if you're one of the first people, if you get a notice, hey, Jim's made a video, so you come over. If you're one of the first people there, because it takes a little while to create those other videos. So if you go there, you're going to look, oh, man, that's that video's not very good because it takes a while to process it. So it'll be the same with this. When I upload this, the 4K video, which I'm going to do just here in a few minutes, I'm going to upload it, and um, then it, they'll kick it out. And so if you don't have 4K capability, you're going to see whatever capability, you know, you have. I don't see much reason to make, to, to use, even to use this uh, Brio in 4K. If you can think of a reason for me to do that, let me know. You sure don't need to see me in 4K. But, uh, so that's what I'm going to do, and we're going to see what a video made with the Logitech Brio in 4K mode looks like on YouTube. Thank you very much for watching this little test. This has been a test of the Logitech in 4K mode. No, Logitech Brio in 4K mode. Thank you very much.